What up? I'm Justo, and we back with another Rust console video on the PlayStation 5. Today I'm going to be trying to do a very fast and very short video on my settings. A lot of people have been asking me since the release of the game to do a settings video, and I've been putting it off because a lot of people have already done a settings video. But I'll go ahead and show you guys what I use. Before we get started, I want to say thank you guys again and again for all of the support on my recent Rust videos. My PvP ver uh, Volume 1 video was crazy. I did not expect it to get 300 views in a day. That was actually kind of surprising for me. I didn't expect the audience retention to be so long. But I don't want to sit here and drag on about that. Thank you guys so much for that. And I appreciate every single one of you who sit there and watch my videos. Only 2% of you guys who watch my videos are subscribed though. So the rest of you 98, uh, I still fuck with y'all. I'm just playing. Let's get into the settings video. Alright, I'm going to go down each of them uh, setting by setting. I'm going to try to go fast. I'm going to explain some of them, but some of them are just common sense and preference. Uh, feel free to pause this video at any moment if you need me to slow it down. If not, if, you, if I'm still going too fast and you want to ask me questions, my social media is always open and you can always comment down below. I read every single comment. Alright, let's get into it for real. Auto equip. I have on last used. I don't see anyone else using best health item or best tool, best weapon. Best. I don't see people using any of that. They usually have it off or they have it on last used. For example, if I have hella bandages in my inventory but I only have one stack in my hotbar, when I use up that stack in my hotbar, I can instantly press R2 to bring in another stack to my hotbar without going into my inventory. And that's really good for people who PvP a lot and... And those who just want to become better at the game and I guess you can use best health item too but I kind of like last use auto reload I have on uh, pretty simple most games I would have it on uh, I don't see why you would have it off to be honest voice chat and quick chat I have on for everyone this is preference if you want to hear and uh, communicate with people if not turn it off stream privacy I did try it. It doesn't seem that useful. It does block information from the stream, but other players in the server can still see my name, which kind of negates half of the purpose of stream privacy. But if you want to use it, go ahead. Language, I'm using US. Controller layout. Now, hopefully we get actual button mapping because I have two things to say about this. Since the crouch button in this game is circle, I actually change my button binds in my PlayStation accessibility system. So, or settings, I'm sorry. So I know you can do this on PS4 because I used to do it on PS4 as well. But PS4 and PS5, I don't know about Xbox. You can change your button mappings. But what it's going to do is change it for every game or app on your system. So you would have to remember to change it back. Basically what I do is go into the accessibility and swap R3 with circle so now I crouch with R3 instead of circle and my quick chat is circle instead of R3 so I just swap them around because I cannot play this game crouching with circle so if you're playing on PlayStation I really highly suggest uh, either buying a scuff or button mapping circle to R3 and vice versa now also on this screen I changed the special action which is going to be your L1 some people like to use quick drop. I don't see the benefit of using qu quick drop over head look. So I use head look so I'm always keeping my head on a swivel and I can always see almost 360 degrees around me at all times. I feel a lot safer like that and you'd be surprised how many people you catch sneaking up behind you in this game. Alright, I have my vibration on but I only have it on 10% because I don't want it to be too strong. One vibration makes your hands sweat because it warms up your controller. Vibration also can throw off your aim and it also eats away at your battery, your controller battery life. So I have my vibration turned down, but I still have it on. Going down the light bar effects doesn't really matter. I have it on. Push to talk. I have toggle. So I press my touchpad to toggle push to talk game chat. Disable quick chat off sprint input toggle auto sprint now I have my auto sprint on but I remember in the first two betas and the first week of launch that setting did not matter 
but just to be safe i have it on because i want my auto sprint to be on you auto sprint plus head look is op all right um crouch input toggle enable aim assist i do have my aim assist on but i don't know if aim assist is enabled on any servers i know there were some servers in the beta that had aim assist but i don't know if all servers since release have aim assist or not i'm not sure if anyone knows feel free to let me know in the comments camera control type i'm gonna just scroll down so you can see all of these settings camera control type i play it on both digital boost and analog acceleration i don't really feel a difference but I just happen to like leave off on analog acceleration. This is something I really do want to know what the difference is. So if anyone knows like what exactly it affects, please leave that in the comments below. My camera sensitivity is at 230%. I want to be pretty fast when I'm running and strafing, just turning. I want to be pretty quick with all my movements. Now my aiming sensitivity is low because most games on console that a first person with no aim assist are very difficult and this game is no exception so I have my aim a little bit lower just so I can control it a little bit better now this is pretty important as well camera sensitivity while sprinting uh I think this affects the speed of your head look sensitivity as well so I have this turned not all the way up but pretty high just so if it does affect my head look sensitivity that I could turn my head a little bit quicker because I want to be able to do every movement quick, smooth, and efficient. Vertical sensitivity. The vertical sensitivity in this game is fucked. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's been bad since the beta. Even with my vertical sensitivity all the way down, it's still like ridiculous, ridiculously fast and way... It's not balanced with the left to right sensitivity, the horizontal. So I, I don't know when they're going to fix that, but it's been a problem since the beta. But I recommend having it turned all the way down. Camera inertia, I have turned all the way down because I don't like the bobbing effect. Aim acceleration, I have turned all the way down for X and Y because I want my aim sensitivity to be smooth and constant. I don't want it to just randomly accelerate at a, you know, specific whatever. I want it to be smooth and constant. Now my dead zone is something that I still play with every now and then. I did have my dead zone left a little bit lower. I think it was like 5 or 7, something like that. But I turned them, I turned left up to 10, equal to my right, because I feel like that was a little bit too sensitive and was like canceling my auto sprint sometimes. So I'm still playing around with this. Let me guys, let me know what you guys use for your dead zone. Uh, I know in like Call of Duty I go lower and Fortnite I think it's a little bit lower but Rust I, I'm pretty I'm feeling good with 1010 so I'm gonna keep it like that we're not inverting anything all right that was pretty much the big stuff like uh, auto sprint camera type aim sensitivity that was the big stuff I wanted to hit now we're moving on to HUD my HUD visibility is full. I did get a, a follower in my stream. And if you're not following my stream, the stream is in the description and on the screen. I did get a follower in my stream. Asked me, how do you get the stance indicator and the amount of inventory space on your HUD? And you go to your HUD settings and turn it on. They have a setting for both. Stance. I like using stance indicator only because it shows me when I hit that auto sprint. Because otherwise you don't really know when your auto sprint turns on. Because it kind of just like turns on after like 3 seconds of running in a straight line. So I use stance indicator to let me know, okay, now I'm in auto sprint mode. And I can do other things and I can let go of my left stick. I have the inventory indicator on by preference. You can really turn this off, it doesn't matter. But just so I'm always keeping track of how much inventory space I have. It lets me make better decisions when it comes to farming. Better decisions when it comes to PvP. So I chose to turn it on. It does take up a little bit more space of your inventory, and you could turn the scale or the opacity down, but I chose to keep them pretty similar. I don't think opacity really changes anything. That might be broken too right now. All right, going to audio, master volume all the way up. Menu, music volume, I do have it up as you hear right now. Uh, In-game music volume, I usually have it turned all the way down, but sometimes I turn it up just a little bit when I'm playing solo, and I don't have any music playing in the background. Sound effects volume all the way up. 
UI sound effects volume. Now, me personally, I don't like the sound of the invent like looting in the inventory and like loot like open like taking things in and out of chest and inventories. I don't really like that sound. But apparently, you have to have this UI sound effects volume turned up a little bit to hear hit markers from guns. Now, I know the bow and the DB. I was able to get hit marker sounds without this setting on at all. But the Thompson and the AK and the SAR, it was like I wasn't getting any hit marker sounds. And I guess it's because I didn't have any UI sound effects on. So I turned it up a little bit and we're going to play with that a little bit and see how that sounds. Ambient sound effect volume, I have turned pretty much all the way up. Audio mix, I kept it as standard. I think I used to use Boost, but uh, really... This game could be better with the footstep audio. It's not terrible, but I don't think any of these really affect the footsteps. So, if it's just going to make it louder in my ears, I don't really need that. My headphones are loud enough. I, I need more enhanced footstep noises and, like, locational, like, if they're above me or below me type shit. Moving on to graphics, another big one. Depth of field, I have off. Sharpening, I have on. Vignette, I have off. There used to be another setting there that was called screen effects. Now, I turned this setting off back in the first beta because a lot of you might know what this is. Screen effects is whenever you don't have any clothes on and you go in the snow biome and your screen turns completely dark blue because you're freezing. Or you go into the, the, the desert and it's orange or you're dying and your screen is white, that's screen effects. Now, I was able to turn that off in the first beta, but apparently that's not a setting anymore. So, I guess if you just didn't turn it off, you're kind of fucked until they bring that setting back. But I guess if you turned it off back before they removed the setting, you're good. Screen effects is very annoying. I suggest turning it off if you ever get the chance. Now, one thing you do need to know is when you turn screen effects off, for some reason, it also mutes the radiation noise. So you won't hear when you're getting radiation. It will just pop up on your bottom left. So give and take of both. Hopefully they fix that. Hopefully they bring it back and they exclude that radiation part. Field of view, I have turned all the way up because I do that in most of my games. I want to see more of my screen. I want to see more of the area. Motion blur, I have that turned off to get better frames and just I don't want anything blurry on my screen I want to be able to see everything clearly brightness now I personally play at a 1.5 brightness I feel like this is the perfect halfway mark for daytime and nighttime if you play on one then you can't see shit at night if you play on two then it's way too bright in the day so I just brought it at a nice even middle ground at 1.5 and that's pretty much gonna do it for my settings gang I mean I know I kind of rushed through this. I just wanted to get this video out. I didn't, wasn't going to do this video, but a few people have been asking me since my first wipe video. And a lot of people have been asking me since my last PvP video. So I decided to get it out there. And here it is.